Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm making this beautiful watercolor painting of a hummingbird and I will show you step by step on how to make this beautiful painting. And as you can see, there are some interesting effects on this painting, which I'll show you the secret. And this is the watercolor paper I'm uh, using, 140 pound, which is available in the art store. First, I'm drawing a basic sketch of the hummingbird uh, with a pencil. And then uh, we'll go from there. And I'm using these colors, uh, pink, purple, I'm using tube watercolors, but you can also use uh, any type of watercolor that you have on hand. It doesn't really matter what brand you use and what type. So I put these colors and we need water. So I taped the paper onto my draw drawing board with a masking tape of the four edges of the paper. And then now first step, I'm wetting the bird uh, with plain water. So it is uh, wet and nice. So after we wet the paper, I'm using uh, this pan watercolor Winsor and Newton. I got this small set, and I I'm using cobalt blue, and in some areas I use green, and some areas I use a mix of green and cobalt blue. So first I'm uh, using cobalt blue, and then tiny bit of green. So the blue and green mix will give a nice color, like almost like a teal. And I also use a little bit of ultramarine blue. And since uh, birds can be of any color, it doesn't really matter. You can use any color combination that you prefer. I'm just using these two colors, but feel free to use any other colors also. It's up to your imagination. So as you can see, the once the paper is wet and we add paint, it spreads very easily. So that's the advantage. So just do random loose strokes of colors onto the bird.
I am drying the first layer by using a mini dryer that I got from Amazon. But feel free to use hair dryer also, that works equally good. Hair dryer, yeah, in a low setting, if you dry, it will be perfect. So, once this is dry, then we will add the second layer of colors. the flower I'm using pink color and I'll be mixing some purple also just to give a nice cool color to this uh, flower
I'll show you the trick of how to get the interesting effect with the feathers. So I add a drop of paint uh, mixed with water. Add a tiny bit of water extra and then I blow it with this blower that I got from Amazon. It's a, a silicon blower which you, you can search on Amazon. It's called a silicon air blower. That's what I use to blow. You can also use straw to blow this. Doesn't matter. So add paint and blow with the straw. That also gives the same effect.
Thank you.